Hey everyone, uh, we are here with a very special guest I told you was gonna be here, Jackie Poor. Jackie is an Emmy award-winning producer, director. She just has done so much with film. She works at HEC Media, which is a, a local company, but they broadcast programming to the world. And Jackie, I wanted to invite you in. Welcome. Sure, thank you for having me. Great we, to be here. Yeah, we've worked with Jackie for like, I don't know, six or seven years yes. now, where we actually have students provide content for you. Yes, I had to say, by far, Ladue Horton Watkins High School is amazing. I mean, it, you guys provide really broadcast quality content, and that says a lot for your department here. I mean, it really does. In fact, one of your students even won an Emmy Award with us by uh, working on the program, and we've got some great students this season as well. How crazy is that? We did a few years ago, Reese Rosenblum won an Emmy. I mean, it's 18 years old, he has a statue because of you guys. Well, you know, it says a lot for your mentoring. I said even the most gifted students, they still need good coaching and good mentoring. And it's very clear in the work that we get. It's broadcast quality for a lot of, a lot of the work that we get. And we only put stuff on our programs that are broadcast quality and on our Educate Dot Today website as well. What's great is that, yeah, you can find a lot of the Ladue content on Educate.today, but Jackie and her partner Tim Gore, who's also Director of Coordination for all of programming, they'll actually watch our student work and give it back and have them, they critique it. And they're like, you need to change this, this, and this. In fact, you're going to see Marilyn again. She'll probably talk a little bit about that because mm -hmm. she had like four or five revisions she had to go through, but it's because of your pushing to do mm -hmm. that and then her motivation to actually complete those revisions. Right that her work then made the air. Right, we don't push the students any more than we push ourselves because we want to prepare you for the world and we really want your, your product to go on our shows. That's so awesome. Okay, so enough of me. Uh, I'm gonna have Jackie actually talking with one of our students, Marilyn, who you met earlier and they can share some fun stories. Thank you, Mr. Goebel, for that fabulous introduction. Now, I'm sitting here with Jackie, who I've worked with before for HEC. I've produced quite a bit of content for her and her company and I've learned a lot from you over the years. Well, good, and I have to say you're quite a trooper because we we had you, we kept giving you notes and notes and notes, but you, you it got so much better. Yeah, you were good to start with, but we knew you had a lot more in you, and hope that worked yeah, out. Yeah, okay thank for you. you. Yeah, it's through them and them pushing me that I get better. So one particular show, I did a, an interview with a local journalism advisor, Mitch Eden and I went through about six or seven revisions in order to meet a deadline to get my video on the air of the professional program. And I started off with just a long format interview and then it ended up into a shorter news package style video. And I, I will say it's, it definitely came a long way because of you guys. And what did you learn in the process? You know, you guys are like clients, like working for clients. So I learn that there are certain there are certain criteria I need to meet for every person I'm working with. Everyone has different demands. And I learned that short, concise videos can often be more intriguing than a longer format interview as well. And it just pushed me to do like voiceovers, get B-roll, and just made me use more skills of mine. That's so good to hear because you know we're in a society, it's a fast paced society and the attention span of the average person is what, three minutes, two minutes? So that's why we go shorter. Right, yeah, I've definitely learned a lot. 